Well, as we get older, the risk of fractures from even a simple fall increases, and those injuries can be extremely painful and debilitating. Our health specialist, Denise Dador, is here with information on a new procedure designed to help people heal fast. Denise? And it looks very promising. The problem with most back injuries is that the healing process can be long and painful. Now, a new type of back surgery is showing remarkable results and a quick recovery time. These um, increased circulation to the heart because they're... Robert Lodge says lying in this hospital bed is just about the only position he can stand without being in excruciating pain. I did a giant step for mankind on the back of a ladder and I fell on my bottom and squished the vertebrae. Fractured vertebrae are common injuries as we get older. That's because as bones age, they get softer and one fall can cause a crushing blow. Prior to the accident, he was 500% doing everything lively, not any pain of any kind, very healthy man. And after he fell, it was really devastating. You can actually see Robert's injury on this x-ray. You can see what a normal vertebra looks like. It's nice and square. And then when we go to the compression vertebra where the fractures occurred, you can see that this is compressed down. Until now, Robert's options would be bed rest and a brace, and his back would heal in a hunched over position. But Robert's physician, Dr. Rick Delamarter, is one of the few doctors in the country using a new procedure to repair vertebral compression fractures another way. It's called kyphoplasty. Delamarter puts two needles into the vertebrae. He inflates a tiny balloon which raises a bone up to its position before it collapses. Then he fills it in with bone cement so Robert's injury is permanently repaired. It's a similar concept to jacking up a car, changing the flat tire, and that you, you jack up the vertebrae to restore its height, and then we fill it with the bone cement, sim similar to putting the tire on the car to maintain that height. Delamarter says older women are especially prone to this injury because osteoporosis weakens the bones. And even sitting down hard in a chair can cause a small fracture, leaving a woman with a rounded back. And that's one of the beauties of the procedure, where previously when you would fracture your, uh, get a compression fracture, it would remain in that collapsed position and would put people in this kyphotic deformity and they, wouldn't, they would be that way the rest of their life. No casts, no braces, and best of all, no pain. And we're happy to say Mr. Lodge walked out of the hospital the very next day. The procedure is FDA approved, but it's still in the clinical study phase. Right now, it's only being done at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica. And like we said, no pain. But this is a great advance. It certainly is for people with back injuries. Mm -hmm. No pain is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Okay.